Oh, look at Stitch. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's so cute. I have been gone for a very long time, but I have a good explanation for that. I am lazy. And welcome back, everybody, to Daily Mutterings. This time it will hopefully be daily, but knowing me, it probably will not be. So what have I been up to lately? What can I possibly do to explain this lack of video creativity? Well, I'll tell you. Battlestar Galactica on Netflix. It will destroy your life. As I've said before in previous entries, Netflix is the devil and deserves to go down. And another thing that is the devil is Battlestar Galactica, if you get into it. This is a sci-fi series, which I will literally say it's lost in space. Not lost in space as in, you know, that old television series with the John Williams soundtrack. No, I'm saying that it is J.J. Abrams' is lost in space. In the sense that... I haven't watched a show that's quite this addictive, a live action show since Lost, but I have also haven't watched a show that has constantly ticked me off while also being addictive like Lost has. Uh, at the end of this first season of Battlestar Galactica, it takes a turn that is quite a bit ridiculous and is kind of weird, and you're sitting here going, okay, where the hell are they going with this? And then you go into the second season and you go, oh, okay, they fixed all that. What was the point of, I don't know, there's this whole thing about this little Indiana Jones-esque quest to go get this little artifact that they have to get in order to get back to Earth or whatever, and some people believe that this is all a load of hoey key, and some people believe we got to get this artifact, and it becomes kind of silly. But other than that, very gritty show, very realistic. I love the fact that whenever you walk on the bridge, it feels like people are about to tear each other's faces off. You've got the commander who's literally sitting there like in every single line this guy has. It's, it sounds like this. Get off of my ship. I'm the captain of the Galactica. You get in the brig right now. I mean, he sounds like, you know, Christian Bale if he was like 50. Christian Bale's Batman. He's just such a badass that you know not to mess with this guy. In Starbucks, she's a badass, even though, you know, she's kind of like... She's kind of a softy badass, if that makes sense. She's that tough chick that you met in high school that you kind of had the hots for, but then she beat the crap out of you when you asked her out, and so you didn't ask her out anymore. That's how I would describe her, though. That's probably not a good definition. The entire premise of the show is basically these guys are out in space after the world basically got apocalypsed by a robot army. And people are like, oh crap, what are we going to do? And there's all this paranoia go on, going on because these robots called Cylons can take human form. So the last remnants of humanity that fled from the planet Caprica is freaking out because they don't know who's a Cylon or not. The Cylon, who knows who it might be? It might be the commander, it might be somebody else, there might be spies within the ship sending information off to like the giant robot army to kill everybody and that's where the excitement comes in and it freaked me out enough well it didn't freak me out but it got me tense and on the edge of my seat enough that I started making a who I think might be a Cylon list and it's not within the show but within my actual life because you never know when this is going to come in handy when the Cylons attack I want to be prepared so I started thinking about it and I started looking through my friends and I've only come up with two people who I could possibly be Cylons and that's because every single Cylon in the series so far is like absolutely gorgeous like there's no such thing as an ugly Cylon and that's where I begin to notice that's where you can detect them it's usually a hot chick or like a fairly decent looking guy so you know if they're not mucho mucho attractive they're probably not a Cylon so I just went through my friends and started going all right Who's the prime male specimen here and who's the prime female specimen? Uh, they're not going to know who they are, but I've got my eyes on them. They, they act very Cylon-esque. It's very fishy. For one thing, I thought I saw them in two places at once once. So, you know, got to take that video camera. Got to start watching them. You know, so if their eyes start, like, having a red light that goes back and forth like this, I know that's going to be the end of days. I'd probably kill myself before then, but, you know. I don't think I would survive a robo-apocalypse, or a zombie apocalypse for that matter. But this is the type of show where my dad and I have basically been sitting down watching it on Netflix every day, and we usually plan out, okay, we're only going to watch two episodes. Two episodes turns into three, three episodes turns into four, and it's all a downhill cycle from there. You can tell we have no lives when we basically become absorbed in space operas for hours and hours on end. But this is the type of show, it's well worth watching. And I've got to give you guys news. I'm not going to be watching any anime coming up here because, you know, Battlestar Galactica has eaten my life. You, you can't make room for anything else. It's, I have to know what happens. And I've heard the ending sucks. And anybody who's watched the show, don't tell me what the ending is. Please, don't. 
don't do it because I don't want to know what the ending is. I want to go in completely unprepared and be prepared for the suckiness. I want to see for myself why it sucks. I don't want anybody to spoil that for me because everybody says the ending is so bad that it doesn't really matter. Like, it's, it's the sort of thing where you can be told, and it's like the ending to Evangelion. It's like, who cares? But, you know, I just, I want to at least hold out hope that maybe it's an ending that was sucky for other people, but not for me. Not for me, personally. I'm going to love this ending, but I know for a fact it's not going to be. If Lost has taught me anything, it's that if a show is really amazingly successful for a certain amount of time, a science fiction show, that means the ending has to suck for some reason. It's just the rule of television. You cannot have a good ending to something that is of an exceptional quality. And I need to stop doing this with my nose. I mean, let's play a drinking game, like for the next blogs that I'm going to record. Every time I go like this, somebody take a, a drink of vodka. Um, not the young people, though, because young people aren't supposed to drink. If you're over 21 and you're in this place, or if you're 18 and you have the permission of an adult or something, I don't know what exactly the rules are, take a drink of vodka every time I go like this. It'll be fun. You'll be absolutely falling over in your chair by the end of it. You'll go, uh, 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 Caleb, stop going like this with your nose. I'm so fucking wasted. Whoa. Oh, by the way. Since I just used a really bad word there, one of the interesting things about Battlestar Galactica is the fact that they use the word frack so often. In the future, apparently, instead of saying the F word, you say frack. So, and they, sometimes they use it so excessively that it almost becomes like a joke. I mean, they go, frack you, and mother fracker, and frack, the door won't open, frack, here comes the army, and it just sounds so hilarious. It's a YouTube skit, not YouTube skit, but it's actually a robot chicken skit where they basically took the Battlestar Galactica action figures and they animated them and they had them saying frack over and over and over again and eventually the FCC just walks it, watches it, they stare at it and go, what the fuck are they talking about? And it's, that's pretty much the truth. It's very, very interesting, the colorful use of future language. It becomes a part of your daily vocabulary too. I was playing Sin and Punishment Star Successor earlier. You can't help but say frack after you've been watching Battlestar Galactica for a while. So, you can look forward to more videos in the near future and a Q&A, because I've been very, very trendy and I've got a Q&A up the sleeve of mine. So, you guys can look forward to that and I love you all so much.